It's important to provide a safe space for loved ones who are dealing with anxiety, according to Council at Wholeness and Wellness Counseling Services, J.L. Valdez. Um, try not to be too dismissive when they come to you expressing how they feel, because especially in the Caribbean, we tend to do that, um, particularly when it comes to that dynamic of parents and children. She said for the upcoming generations, it's not abnormal to speak about their mental health concerns or issues. So when they are opening up and they're saying, you know, I feel like I might be anxious or I feel like I might be depressed, um, I think sometimes the immediate reaction would be to say something like, um, you're, you're depressed, you're anxious, go and depress them, they should have anxiety over your school book. You know, um, when that's not really necessarily the most helpful response. And what that does sometimes is it could shut the person down um, from wanting to speak to you. Ms. Valdez said in many cases, the non-acceptance of mental health issues results in individuals not receiving the help they require. A lot of times because of that um, taboo with mental health um, in the Caribbean, parents don't take their children to see somebody because they don't want them to have a label or to have that stigma attached to them. But sometimes that can cause more harm than good. She explained how support can be offered to a loved one dealing with anxiety. You just want to make sure you have that space, but conversely, you also don't want to pressure them into speaking about it all the time, right? Even though you may you may be well intentioned, you don't want to be, um, you know, bringing it up all the time because not that somebody's trying to forget it, but they're trying to manage well in their daily lives, and they don't necessarily need to be reminded every five minutes that you know you have anxiety and you have an issue right um and also just doing general things together that could be helpful the main form of support is exercising patience well patience is important patience is extremely important because it's like dealing with any other serious issue um that you have to treat with medically uh it's not an overnight um remedy right even going to counseling getting the medication those things don't work immediately right usually over time combined with the support of the family system again just being present allowing them to vent if needed um sitting with them if they need that company uh encouraging them to do things that would be beneficial for them to help them calm down so if it is that deep breathing is something that assists the person let's do a yoga session as a family Ms. Valdez said empathy is also important. Right. So if you're be, if you're able to be empathetic to some to somebody based on what they're experiencing, it makes the experience for everybody a little bit more palatable. It makes it a little bit easier to deal with because it's not just you have this thing and that's a you problem. Right. We're a family. You have a condition. We want to help you. And we we're also learning and we're able to extend that empathy towards you and others who may be dealing with your same issue as well. She said anxiety can be triggered in several ways. Everybody's triggers are different. Um, for some people, it might be um, a specific trigger. And if it's very specific, it could get to the point where, again, it's like a phobia, right? So you have fear of public speaking, fear of heights, etc. cetera. Um, sometimes it could be where you're going into a situation, right? So let's say you're going to a get together with friends you and a particular friend may have been at odds for some time. Maybe you'll no longer speak as well as you do um, because something happened. And you're going into a situation where you're going to see that person. Your anxiety levels could rise. There are several forms of counseling that can be helpful for someone who has anxiety. Psychotherapy, also known as psychological counseling or talk therapy, is one method that is frequently used. This involves talking to a therapist to reduce your anxiety symptoms. I'm Mahalia Joseph Wharton, keeping tabs on your inner circle.